And now our team coverage continues with the acts of kindness being shown to the people affected by last week's building collapse. CBS Force Lisa Petrillo joins us with the details of an example of extreme generosity. Lisa? Hi, guys. Yeah, we are here at Sexton Stays. It's in Sunny Isles. It is a vacation rental condo, normally 17 of them, but they're now providing shelter for individuals and families who need a nice place to stay for a bit. It's last minute touch ups here at Sexton Stays in Sunny Isles, a Miami based hospitality company that is now being offered as a free temporary shelter for victims of the Surfside condo collapse. This seven story building was undergoing design remodeling when the tragedy happened. CEO Andreas King Giovannis explains. So we weren't really uh, intending on opening for about a month. And then on Thursday, we, we saw the news. We had a lot of the furniture in our warehouse already, and we decided this is something that we have to jump. On. We're in such a unique position to, to help to have this entire building have all the furniture. As Casey works on hanging art, we toured a unit with manager David, who showed us a three bedroom apartment. There are 17 two and three bedroom units. Each will provide fully furnished rooms with hotel like amenities, including kitchen supplies, personal care, toiletry items, and more. There are going to be neighbors who recognize each other, which is really special. They're just going to be surrounded by, by other people who were in the South Tower. And uh, much, much better space for people to kind of recover for an entire month. These are the appliances that before the building collapsed that they were planning to repair. But because they wanted to get people in here so fast, they decided to just get rid of them and bring in all new. We are giving priority to, to families of the South Tower. If, uh, if we can't fill up the entire building, we'd love to have people from the North Tower. King Giovannis is offering a one-month free stay here. He says everyone who can should step up to the plate. The foundation of any great hospitality company is empathy. You have to be able to relate to people. And we knew that there were only a handful of people, if that, in the city that had the same resources, the same bandwidth that we do. So we really felt like we had a moral obligation to, to step up and not watch on the sidelines. What have the family members said to you? Have you spoken to any of them? Yeah, we, we've given them a lot of space. Uh, I think a lot of them are still processing. They're, they're holding on to hope that, that they're going to receive receive uh, good news, but just a lot of a lot of shock, but still extremely, extremely grateful. All right, now with 17 condo units and seven in them now, seven families, there are 10 condo units left. As you saw him say to the people that are calling him, he's doing first priority for the people in the South Tower, but will be considering the other ones in the North Tower on a case-by-case -case basis. You can uh, find out more in, on our cbsmiami.com of how to email him, so go, go on our website. I can also quickly give you the email. And that, of course, is Andreas, A-N-D-R-E-A-S, at sextonstays.com, or check out our website. Back to you in the studio.